I feel like boys behavior for me started at school. Several boys at the school have stroked my leg, felt up my skirt, grabbed my bum, squeezed my boobs and made rape jokes at me. I feel like the most common one is nudes. Like, I feel like everyone has been asked. He was continuing to shout like, I'm gonna get you, like, I'm not done with you, like, I'm gonna get you. You either know someone who has had an experience or you are someone that has had an experience. I'm going to share a story about a sexual assault that happened to me that I've never spoken about before. It was three o'clock in the afternoon. It was still light out. The guy followed me from the high street and he was getting closer and closer to me and that's when I started to feel a little bit scared. I could feel him coming up behind me and then he just said, I'm gonna fuck you right now. I'm gonna fuck you against, against this fence. He kind of pushed me up against this and then with one hand, down my like leggings and I was trying as hard as I could to keep them up and then I looked over his shoulder and I can see a group of adults running towards me and then he just ran as he was running he was continuing to shout like I'm gonna get you like I'm not done with you like I'm gonna get you this guy was a child like he's could he have even been 15 this school boy he would have 100 percent raped me the attack left me in shock and with so many questions. What made a schoolboy think he could assault me? And where did he learn that? News headlines recently have led to so many women like me feeling vulnerable. And my friends all have their own stories. I think as a woman, like you're always just wary at night and you yeah. always want to like, you know, be as safe as you possibly can. Anytime I'm out on my own, like, and there's like, a, I see a group of men, they could be like over oh, there and yeah. I'm still gonna pretend I'm on the phone yeah. or like yeah. I will be on the phone or like I look down. I just yeah. don't wanna make eye contact with people. Like it is scary. I feel like boys' behavior for me started at school for sure. Oh, 100%. Yeah, exactly. I have like really strong like emotions towards when I was at school because I feel like so many young boys' behavior just wasn't checked. And I look back oh, and the more yeah. I look back, I think of how messed up it was. Like the guys literally, Boys in my year used to try and sit next to like specific girls so they could like try and go up their skirts so and it would be like, yeah. We all left school six or seven years ago. I wonder what it's like for girls in school today. I've contacted hundreds of schools asking to speak to pupils, but only a few have responded and most said no. But this school in North London has allowed me to visit. They've invited me to the lower sick. I'm wondering if they'll be ready to open up, but they immediately start talking about the pressure they feel from boys. In year seven, it's like if you were flat, yeah. you'd be, it'd be such a problem. Like, we seven. were like 10 years old, <laughs> like legging. we like, literally like, had just started like developing and they yeah. wanted us to look like yeah. Daddy Kim Kardashian. I, I feel like the most common one is, nu is nudes. Like yeah. I feel like everyone has been asked. That no, but um, or sent them. Yeah, or really sent them without them. asking. Like one time in science, a boy had like porn on his phone and he just pulled it out and he was just showing all the girls and he was like, yeah, these are the position positions yeah. that you're going to do. It gives them these unlike realistic yeah. standards of beauty. It's like being hairless, being absolutely like tiny, yeah. but then having like big boobs and a big bum. See you later. Lovely to meet you. See you later. A new website, Everyone's Invited, is causing a storm in the media, revealing shocking testimonies of rape culture and sexual assault in schools. Hello! How are you? Come in. Thank you. Its founder, Soma Sara, started it in response to her own experiences. I decided to share my experiences of rape culture on Instagram, and I was immediately overwhelmed with messages just from pretty much everyone I'd ever met and it's just endless. There are so many stories. You can just scroll down and read all the testimonies, all anonymous. Several boys at the school have stroked my leg, felt up my skirt, grabbed my bum, squeezed my boobs and made rape jokes at me. As well as this, several have harassed me for nudes. This has been happening since year eight. I'm now in year 12. God, I can't even imagine how hard that is to read all of these stories. Even reading that, I'm like, I feel a bit emotional gives victims a platform to be able to 
to speak freely and openly about what happened to them. And I guess it's quite liberating for a lot of people. Absolutely. Anonymity is really important and allows them to share free from judgment or shame or fear or humiliation. Being able to share without anyone knowing who you are has actually kind of allowed people to do so so openly.